day breaks over the Sand River. Even in the dry season, it attracts all manner of animals, including Cape Buffalo. The water is a big draw for animals, providing plenty of opportunity for predators. Rivers can also serve as natural boundaries for leopards. The Sand River wraps halfway around Chilolo's territory, so he patrols here regularly. Chilolo's appearance seems to unsettle the buffalo. But he's not the only hunter around. The equation can be simple. In Mala Mala, where you find water, you often find lions. They know the routine well. Sooner or later, everyone stops by for a drink. It's only a matter of waiting for the right moment to strike. Amid the huge buffalo bodies, a newborn greets the world. During calving season, buffalo and antelope are especially watchful. Their calves are extremely vulnerable. have the herd squarely in their sights. There's still daylight left though, and the big cats like to work in the dark. But the buffalo aren't sticking around for that. Fear ripples through the herd, and they flee, hooves making muddy thunder. Soon, real thunder engulfs Malamala. Mala. and lightning strikes, Chololo has made a kill. But still, he's edgy. Chololo seizes the moment, dragging his kill higher. The lioness and animal spirits. This year the rains have been really bad. Plenty of storms and massive floods the most we've seen in living memory, and twice as much as the highest ever recorded. Only days ago, the Sand River was a trickle. Now, it's a raging torrent, only fit to watch at a safe distance. The bold pachyderm tests the current. As Kim watches, the elephant gets a devastating lesson in water power. It surprised me to see this elephant bull in serious trouble. These guys usually have the wit to stay out of bad situations, but the current was way too much for him. If he's lucky, he'll regain his footing somewhere downstream.
As soon as the sky clears and the flood ebbs, hunters regain their rhythms. After the deluge, Chololo emerges with a new attitude. He seems to know now how to play the game. Chololo seemed to move to the next level of maturity. He came through the flood with a better hunting technique and more confidence. You could tell he knew he had established himself as the dominant male in the area. At dawn, Mala Mala is a raucous symphony of animal calls. But this morning, the decibel level seems to be rising fast. A female leopard and her cub take notice of the uproar. And as more voices join the chorus, the cub heads for cover. The reason for the ruckus and the cub's flight? Chololo. If a male leopard meets a cub he didn't sire, he could harm the little one. The female decides she needs better cover. She monitors the situation constantly, taking care to stay hidden from view. Chololo may not notice every animal he passes, but every animal seems to notice him. When the danger has passed, mother and cub find each other by call and response, and gradually their anxiety subsides. early summer, fawning season for the Impala. Mothers leave the relative safety of the herd to be alone at the big moment. It's a risky step since predators know nature's calendar all too well. On their feet in minutes, newborn Impala have few defenses, but they do have a single invisible advantage. Nature sends them into the world scentless. It will take this youngster days to develop the fragrance so welcome to hunters. <laughs> 